it was the first cold night of the autumn last night. I think it got down to about five or six degrees, which most plants are absolutely fine with, but this plant isn't. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna store it for the winter. First of all, let's put the kettle on. trick I actually had this done I'm just saying put the kettle on but you know you see what I'm doing first thing I'm going to do is cut off all the leaves you can use probably a pair of secateurs or just a kitchen knife I'm just going to use a bread knife whatever you've got it'll work they're really soft leaves if you're anything like me, you were wondering how you look after a banana over the winter and if you're going to cut off all of these leaves, is there any use for them? I didn't really like the idea of having to keep it watered over the winter and I wasn't quite sure where I was going to store it. And then I came across Yorkshire Chris or uh, Exotic Gardening UK's YouTube channel and he had a way of storing it without using soil, or having to keep it watered. So it was much easier to find somewhere that I could keep it that way. Anyway, I chopped the leaves off. Once I'd done that, because there were still some geraniums and coleus in this pot, I thought I'd try and get it out without damaging them. So, I mean, it was a little bit clumsy, but it came out okay in the end. And they're absolutely full of water and surprisingly heavy. Once I've done that, I've just gently taken off the amount of soil and compost that I can, just normally by hand, and then I've used a bit of water, rolled my sleeves up, and just helped to rinse it off like that. Pick little bits out, take your time with it. It's quite therapeutic. And then, as instructed, I'm storing it upside down, which allows all the water to come out of it, and it can dry up and become dormant for the winter. It's much smaller that way, lighter, and it can be kept in the dark. So I've still got this one to do. I've got these leaves that I'm keeping aside. So I'm gonna use those for a recipe. If you know me, you know that recipe is a pretty loose term. So I just sort of had a go at uh, using it. I didn't really know what I was doing. So I don't really wanna offer this as a tutorial, but you can watch and see how I got on banging a bit of ginger. Anyway, I'll stop talking. You can enjoy watching it. sure what I was going to do with the other one so I've ended up deciding to try and keep it in the green which you can do and here it is right by the radiator see how we get on thanks for watching